Welcome to another Build Day Live video here at Cohesity. I'm Alistair Cook, and I'm joined by the very community engaged Michael Lechen. What's your role here with Cohesity, Michael? So I'm one of the principal technologists with the Technical Advocacy Group uh, here at Cohesity, so with quite a few of the other guys. Again, very community-based Group things. of people, yeah. And what are we going to take a look at in this video? So today, I think we're going to dig into how to do replication from an on-prem Cohesity appliance out to any of the cloud additions. So whether we're looking at Azure, uh, GCP, or AWS, today we're going to use Azure just because well, it's the one I picked. And because of your background in uh, shared file system, you've chosen to do this with a, a file share rather than I a am, bunch of I'm machines. going to do a view. Uh, plus, realistically, if you're putting it out there and in all reality, to demo it, I can connect to a view real easy. I don't <laughs> have vCenter sitting in Azure. So it's a little bit harder at that point. Right. All right, let's, let's take a look. So, okay, I'll go ahead and, and jump over to our dashboard here. So right here, you're looking at the standard Cohesity dashboard. Uh, this on-prem box, COH01, but then I've also got an AWS and Azure, as well as a GCP Cloud Edition here. Now, normally I would say we could kind of jump between them, but first thing I want to show you is going over to the Windows Explorer, I've got my current one. This is my on-prem that I'm looking at. Quite a few file shares here, obviously. I'm going to use this cert bot store. It just happens to be a random view that I've got sitting out there. But if I go to the Azure that I've already connected to, nothing. Yeah. So nice and empty. So we'll, we'll see the entire process. And these are both file shares off Cohesity clusters in the two different Correct. So this COH01 is that on-prem. And then AZ COH is Azure, Azure. COH. So I'm going to go back over to the management console. And I'm going to go ahead and create a protection job. I'm going to use that view we talked about. And I'm just going to do demo cert. I'll select a view that I want, that cert bot store that we talked about. And now I'm going to take one of our policies. I'm going to use this one already has replication set, but we'll edit it just so we can see what that looks like. First thing we do is scroll down for that replication. And I can see I'm replicating out to Azure COH. I'm going to run that at every run, stay for, th for 90 days. That really doesn't necessarily matter right now, obviously, for the demo. But you can set that to be configurable as you wish. So I'll leave that as is and go ahead and just tell it to protect it. Now, right away, if I jump over to protection jobs, I'll be able to find that demo cert job that we just created. It's going to actually be on, oops, I missed it. It's on page one. There it is right there. Uh, nice thing is it's actually already run. So now if I jump over to that Azure cluster, now I want to go look at my views. CertBot store wasn't there at all. Right now it's just set as a DR view. But I obviously need to be able to do something to it. Right now if I go back over, I can't see it. And on initial replication, you're not going to see it. So the first thing you have to do is actually go into that and do a clone of the actual space. So I'm going to clone to a local target. So I'm cloning the replica that came from on-prem to Azure. And I'm just cloning that into a new clone view of that cert bot. So this is restoring, essentially, Correct. a backup it's of It's basically my just activating that replicated snapshot. Yeah. So that replicated snapshot that's in there, it's ready. But you don't necessarily want to see it right away. Like, yeah, you want replicating, but I'm not using it. There's no reason to activate it. Uh, and I don't want somebody to potentially go in and mess up that replica. So I don't want to share it right away. So I've now shared it. The nice thing is, because you have a DR view, when I clone it, I can actually create the same name and keep consistent names. So by default, we add copy because most people want to see something. But you could keep the same name to keep it consistent. Now when I say, I'm going to just scroll down here, say continue. Oops. Have to create the, the QoS policy first here. That's just anything that you're doing on it. Now that's created. So if I go, I've got this new view now created. I had just the DR view. Now I have search store copy. Before I can do anything with it, another thing that we kind of make sure it doesn't get shown right away is we don't want to make that browsable right away. So just in case you, you replicate it, you had it there, but I don't want everyone looking at it. 
But for demo purposes, obviously I need to be able to browse it. But you could leave it out of the browse list and give somebody the actual connection. If someone knows exactly where they're going now, or maybe I only want to present that, they, they can get to it via, say, S3. Right. I don't want it SMB browsable to get to it and don't want somebody messing with that replica. So I'm going to update the view and make it browsable. So now I can come back over to this guy and refresh it, back over to my Azure cluster. There it is. And there's all my data. So it's already replicated out. Uh, obviously, it's not a real big space, so we got some speed out of that. But it's replicated. I can now do whatever I want to this. Anything I do to this will not impact my on-prem either. So I can utilize this for things like testing and analysis without impacting my production workload that possibly could be running on so I, my main site. In Azure, I've got a point-in-time copy of what was on-prem exactly. being presented out. And I could choose that point in time if I had multiple of those protection job runs. Completed. Exactly. I could pick where I want to do that. Obviously, we only had the one, so that's why I had to go with. But I could go ahead and, and clone that and get a copy of it whenever I want. And this will be good for integrating into your application that's doing periodic reporting or dev test It activities. could be reporting. It could be things that maybe you're looking at migrating something into a cloud environment. So if you've got, say, uh, an EC2 machine, that is doing something else, some analysis, and you just need to get it some data. You've got your data set on-prem. In all reality, maybe your data set is on Azure, and, and you've, I mean, you're going to an AWS box. All that data was collected over there. You need to move it, replicate it, clone it, and now that AWS machine can analyze that data you collected on Azure. Right. So it gives you true multi-cloud capability. Mobility of your data, which is always a big challenge in multi-cloud. Exactly. So that's how, that's how you get the replica done. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Mike, for joining us. Of course. And thank you for joining us for this video. Stay tuned for more great Build Day Live content here at Cohesity.